So what is encoding and decoding IC? In this case, we have the encoding and the decoding IC. XT, TURB E, the encoding IC, and the XT, TURB D, the decoding IC. The voltage range of the encoding IC, which is XT, TURB E, is 2.4 volt to third volt, while the voltage range of the HD third D, which is the decoder IC, is 2.4 to 5 volt. Both encoding and the decoding IC pin from one side is 9 pin. On the other side, also 9 pin, which is a totally 18 pin. Now, let me explain about the pin of both encoding and the decoder IC. Let's begin from the HT Turb E, which is the encoder IC. Both encoder and the decoder IC contains third bits address pin from pin 1 to pin 8 plus pin 10 to pin 13. So pin 1 to pin 8 are the 8 bits address pin as indicated A0 to A7 and pin 10 to pin 13 are the data address pin. The unique function of HT Turb E is to convert third bit parallel data inputs into serial data output at pin 17. Then it is modulated and transmitted by using the RF transmitter module. Pin 9 is the ground and pin 18 is BCC. Pin 14 is the transmission enable and to enable the transmission must be connected to the ground then the transmission is ready. One of the advantages to both IC is easy to use due to the internal oscillator by just connected the resistor to both pin 15 and 16, while pin 17 is the data output. Then let's go to the HT Turb D, which is the decoding IC. HT Turb D decoding IC, same thing with HT Turb E, it has an 8 pin address with 4 data output pin. Pin 9 is the ground and pin 18 is the BCC. Oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 are pin 16 and pin 15. Pin 17 is BT or verified transmission to indicate that the decoding IC will be receiving the signal from the 
encoding IC. Now, let's see how the HT Turb E and the HT Turb D working together. As you can see, the circuit diagram is complete. This video is part two. You can watch the part one step by step on how to connect the components and you can check the link below. Both encoder and the decoder must have the same address to communicate each other. As you can see, pin 128 or the address pin connected in the same way both encoder and the decoder IC. And it is connected to the ground. In the port 81 to 84 are logic high and connected to the ground by way of momentary switch. So when pressing any momentary switch, then the address data pin goes to low and sending the signal serially at pin 17. As long as the transmission enable connected to the ground. Then the signal sent to the data in of the radio frequency circuit module and modulated then transmitted to the radio frequency receiver. Then the signal goes to the data out and sends to the data in of the decoder IC a pin 14 in order to decoding the signal and send to the data out and this signal is used to control any circuit device. Now let's see how it works in the actual video.